So I'm going to download and install Zorin OS 17. And this is the latest edition. So this is the website here. I'll click on download. Now there are three versions. This is the paid version. This is Zorin Pro. I'm going to download the Zorin Core. And there's also Zorin Lite. I'll click on download. I'll click skip to download. And it's downloading. So I'm also going to download Etcher. And this will create the bootable USB drive. So I already downloaded it. It's on my desktop here. I have the Zorin operating system core. And I have Etcher here. So I'm going to open Etcher. I'll click flash from file. Click on Zorin. Click open. Click select target. So I'm using a 16 gigabyte USB drive. I'll click select one, click flash, and it's creating the bootable USB drive. So the bootable USB drive was created. So I'm going to take this bootable USB drive and I'm going to boot up a Dell desktop computer. So I booted up into the BIOS of the Dell computer and I want to make sure that secure boot is disabled and it is disabled. So now I'm going to restart the computer and boot from the USB drive. I'll hit enter. So there are a few options here. Try or install Zorin and then try or install Zorin safe graphics. So the two options is install Zorin with NVIDIA drivers. So I'm going to select the default, the first option. Hit enter. Okay, so this is the install page. So there are two options here. Try Zorin OS or install Zorin. I'm going to click install Zorin. So on the keyboard layout, I'm going to leave it as English US. Click continue. So these are updates and other software. So it's already checked download updates while installing Zorin OS. And the second option is install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media format. There's a third option. Don't participate in the census. I'm going to check that also. I'll click continue. So this is the installation type. So I currently have NixOS in this hard drive. I'm going to wipe out this hard drive and install Zorin. So there are three options here. I'm going to erase the entire disk and install Zorin OS. I'll click install now. And it gives you a warning here. If you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disk. Otherwise, you'll be able to make further changes manually. So it gives a warning here. This will destroy all data on any petitions you have removed as well as on the petitions that are going to be formatted. I'm going to click continue. So it already detected where I'm located in New York. Whatever city or country are located, you can change it here. I'll click continue. So here is where you have to type a name and a username and also a computer name. So I'm going to type John. So I'm going to leave the username as John. I'll change the computer name to Dell. I'll have to choose a password. So there are three options here. Login automatically, require my password to log in or use Active Directory. I'm going to leave it as require my password to log in. Click continue. And it's installing. So installation is complete. I'm going to restart the computer. So I'll click restart now. So I'll remove the USB drive from the computer. I'm going to press enter. So I get a login screen. I'm going to log in. I'm going to type the password. So this is a desktop. I'm going to right click the desktop. I can create a new folder here. I'm going to right click the desktop again so I can create a new document and LibreOffice is installed. I'll click on LibreOffice Writer. So I can arrange icons, arrange by, and I have all these options here. I can open in terminal. I can change the background. I'll click change the background. And here I have all these wallpaper that I can choose from. I'll choose this wallpaper. I can also add a picture as the background. I'm going to change the background again. I'll click on display settings. And there's orientation. I can change that here. There's resolution. I'm going to leave it as this resolution. There's scale. I'll click on settings. 
and on settings, I can connect to the Wi-Fi. Right now, the Dell computer is connected by Ethernet cable, and I can configure VPN. I can also configure a proxy. I can also manually configure an IP address. Yeah, Bluetooth settings. This is the background settings. This is notifications, and I can configure notifications for all these applications. I'll click on search and I can configure all of these in the search section. It says control which search results are shown in the activities overview. There's multitasking and there's general. This is the workspaces section. There's dynamic and fix. So this is the multi-monitor and this can be configured. This is application switching. So this is applications. And these are a list of all the applications that I install with Zorin. There's privacy, there's the location services, Thunderbolt, file history and trash. This is the screen settings. You can configure screen lock. This is the online accounts and you can configure an online account here. I'll click on sharing and you can configure remote desktop. I'll turn this on. This is the sound settings. This is the power settings and you can configure power settings here. I'll click on displays. Here's where you can configure the resolution. There's mouse and touchpad settings. This is the keyboard settings. This is the printer settings and you here you can add printers. I'll click add printer. This is removable media and this can be configured. This is the color settings. This is regional and language settings. You can set your language here. This is accessibility. And you can configure the cursor size, eye contrast, large text, enable animation, hearing, this is typing, pointing and clicking. I'll click on users. And here you can add more users. I'll click on unlock. And I can add a user here, standard or administrator. This is the default applications. You can set the default applications for the web browser, the mail, calendar, music, video, or photos. Now Firefox is the only web browser installed. This is the date and time settings. So this is about the computer, the device name, the size of the hard drive. So this is the taskbar. So on the left side, this is the start menu. And there's accessories, graphics, internet. There's sound and video. These are all the apps that you can use for audio and video. There's system tools. There's a software update. This is a software app. This is utilities folder. And these are some of the utilities tools. So on the right side, there's home, desktop, documents. There's software settings. There's Zorin appearance. I'll click on that. And here I can change the appearance. So right now it's this, the first. I'll click on the next option. This is how it shows. There's team, and I can change the colors here. There's also background. There's effects. This is the interface. This is the desktop settings. Icons on the desktop, it's on, I can turn this off. This is the icon size settings. So if I want the home folder to show on the desktop, I just have to check this box. I'll show the trash icon. These are the mountain volumes icon, network servers. This is the fonts. So this can be changed here. So the next icon is the workspace icon. So this is Firefox. This is files folder. I'm going to click on it. And these are the folders. So this is a software app. I'll open this app. So there's explore, there's installed, and there's updates. So these are the categories. There's create, socialize, work, learn, play, develop. I'll click on create, and I can download any one of these. 
So you can download by categories you can download and search for any app you would like. There's a search icon here and you can search for the app. I'll click on install. And these are all the apps that are installed in Zorin and you can uninstall it also. There's the updates, so you can update here. So there's one update here, integrated firmware. I can also right click the taskbar and click on system monitor. I'll click on taskbar settings and you can configure the taskbar. I'll click on position and then you can change the position of the taskbar here. For example, right now it's in the bottom. I'll click top and it's on the top. I'll click left and I'll select right and the taskbar is on the right. You can configure the panel thickness here, add link. So there are all these settings here. There's behavior settings for applications. There's the action settings. So on the right side, this is the network icon, speaker icon, and power icon. So I'm going to install Google Chrome. I'm going to open the software app here. I'm going to click on the search icon. I'm going to type Chrome. I'm going to click install. And Google Chrome is installing. I'll click open. Click OK. And Google Chrome is installed. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.